Hi, welcome to another Siler Instrument Quick Tip. We're going to talk about a bisecting corner angle calculated in the field using three measured points. Here's an example using three power poles. So we're going to take those three, bisect the angle, and calculate a guy pole to the northwest. From the main Trimble Access screen, you're going to select Kogo, Compute a Point. The method is going to stay the default varying a distance, but you're going to give a name to the point that you're trying to calculate. You're going to give it a code, and then you're going to select the start point. The start point is going to be the corner point of your calculation. So in this example, it's that point. If I select it here on the map screen and then hit escape, from the start point field, I can use the right arrow map selection, and it'll show me the point number of that point displayed on the screen. You want to make sure that the azimuth origin is set to grid zero, and then for the azimuth itself, we're going to use the calculator. I like to use the blank clear calculator, so I always hit the C. You're going to use the soft key for azimuth, and then change the method from the default between two points to bisected corner. And then you just need to define your angle. So it asks for the corner point and the two side points. Again, I go back to the map to refer to the points. Again, just go to the I and then settings. And you can actually turn on the point names here on the screen. So you can see we're going to use points 103, 100, and 101. So our corner point is going to be 100. Our side points are going to be 103 and 101. The order in which you define the sides is very critical when you're going to be calculating this side point. You can see if we picked from 103 to 100 for side 1 and 100 to 101 for side 2, it's going to use the outside angle. Now if we use the other way, if we use from 100 to 101 as side 1 and 101 to 103 as side 2, it's going to calculate the interior angle azimuth. And you can see it calculates all of the angles, bearings, distances, anything related to this bisected corner. If I hit the store key on the soft keys, it's actually going to store all this information in my project file and I can go back and review it. When I hit accept, it brings that azimuth into the calculator. I could do math to it here or just accept it. I'm going to pick a distance from the corner point to the new guy point. I'm going to calculate that, calculate that location and store it. Now when I go to the map screen, you can see I've got my angle, I've got it bisected, and I have my point computed off to the northwest. Thank you. That concludes another Siler Instrument Quick Tip.